Good morning, folks. It's May 22nd, 2021. I'm on the upper end of Lake of the Ozarks. I'm gonna try to pull some crankbaits today. Haven't done this in a long time. I've pulled into the uh, back of a long creek. I've scanned with my side scan coming in here. I see a lot of fish scattered out here in the uh, open water. I'm gonna see if I can pick up a few of them. The water temperature is 68 degrees. I'd like it to be a little warmer than that for pulling crankbaits, but it's my opportunity and I'm gonna see if we can catch a few. The air temperature is 68 degrees. It's been raining for a week and this water's starting to muddy up. There's a lot of pollen on the surface. Uh, so I don't, not ideal conditions, but we're gonna give it a try. So uh, stay with me. Okay, in my prior video, I showed you some of the baits I'm going to start with today. And so uh, this is the first one I showed you. It's Mistake Color. As always, I uh, cast and put the rods on the inside to start with. I cast these baits out just as far as I can throw them not using line counters. Next one in the lineup, Sun Perch. The mortal enemy of the crappie. I cast that out to the side. That was a 300 bandit. And then I'm gonna run some 200 bandits. This is a chrome and blue 200. Again, I'll just cast that out to the side. And I'm gonna lay this one out flat to get it further out away from the boat. Next in the lineup is my splatter back and a 300 bandit. Boy, these reels cast so smooth. Love these reels. All right, here's a Fred Pittman custom painted uh, crankbait. Like I say, it's got a deep diving bill on it, like a like a 300. Cast it out to the side to keep it away from the others. And then on the outside out here, I'm gonna put my uh, 200 series in the splatter back. And I'll lay it down flat. Okay, so there you go. We got them all out. I'm in 19.3 uh, feet of water right now. Oh, is that a fish? It felt like it, but that's on that 200. I better reel that and see. Yeah, it's a fish, but boy, it's a little one. All right, so that's on the 200. It's small fish, not a keeper, but uh, maybe that tells me that the fish are a little higher. If we keep catching them on the 200s, we'll switch them all out to that. But that's a good sign. It didn't take about two minutes. As on that splatter back, One thing I didn't mention in my earlier setup video is I put tape on the 
ends of each rod, different colored tape. So like this rod, I have both blue and yellow tape. This one blue, this one red, yellow, green, and this one's red and white. Um, that's just to help me kind of keep track. I, I can look at the tape colors. I've got my 200 bandits on the two rods that have the double colored tape. And so as they get mixed up, as I catch fish and start rotating rods around, then I can uh, sort of keep track of what baits are on what rods. Okay, I'm now in 23 feet of water. As you can see, there is a ton of shad out here, and hopefully those are crappie. They look like crappie to me. Uh, we'll see if we can pick up some of them. Looking at my down imaging, you can see these fish, and it looks like a lot of them are at this, right at this 15-foot range above it and below it. So those 200 bandits ought to run about 12 feet deep. The 300s will run deeper, 18 feet, uh, maybe down to 20. So we've sort of got that range covered. Well, that fish. It's fish. It's under my other line over here. So I'll rotate that around. Doesn't feel like a crappie, but we'll see if I can get it to the top. It's crappie. Nice crappie. And I'm about to run into the bank, of course. I was trying to get a little closer. Yeah, look at that. It's on the old splatter back. Nice fish right there. Let's just see how long this fish is. Yeah, that fish is 13 and a quarter inches long. Nice one. Good fish. Okay, that's on the old Bandit 300. All right, so as I show you in all my videos, now I'm going to cast this one out. I'm just going to cast out to the far side so that I don't cross any other lines. Just cast it as far as I can. Give it a little line. And then I'll just rotate these over this way. That makes it easy and simple. Oh, here's one out here. That's on the 200 again. Oh, that feels like a good fish. Let's see if I can get it up. Come on up. Oh yeah, it's up. Nice fish too. Ski it in between my lines. Real nice crappie. Oh yeah. Dandy. Look at that one, folks. Now that's on the 200 splatterback. <laughs> we may be going to all splatterback baits. See that? That's the 200. Nice fish. Another one that's... Let's see what we got here. Yeah, another one, almost exactly like the last one, just a little over 13 inches. Come on, fish. Let's get busy. All right, and again, we're just gonna go out to this side. Cast that out. That bait will pull.
pull back in, fall right in where it should. Give these other baits a little longer, but if they don't start performing, they're going to lose their spot. You may notice in my earlier setup video, as I call it, when I was getting everything rigged, I showed you my little tray I had sitting right here in my box with some uh, extra crankbaits in it uh, so that I can take them off and put them in that box real quick. Well, that box is somewhere on Interstate 70 west of Boonville, Missouri. <laughs> I just happened to see it blow out as I was coming over here yesterday. So if anybody finds a little box of uh, crankbaits, I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I had them on this, these Velcro strips, and I mean, they're on there so tight I couldn't hardly pull the box off, so I'd never dreamed that they'd blow off on the highway, but they did, so so much for that box. I've got another one at home. Yep. Fish, yep. <clears throat> Oh, I got a bunch of lines all right there together. It's coming out of that turn. Let's see if we can keep them from getting tangled up. I need to keep that fish down. All right, now I think I'm through. There we go. There we go. There's the old sun perch. That's a nice little fish. Not as big as the others, but it'll keep. Yeah. The old sun perch comes through. Better measure that just to make sure. Oh yeah, it's uh, this fish is ten and three quarter inches long. Not huge, but it's a keeper. It's on the three hundred. Cast out to the side. Man, these reels are smooth. I like the action of this rod too. These are rods I just got and uh, I'm liking them. I'm hoping that rain holds off here. My GoPros are waterproof, but my Sony camera up front is not. So if it starts raining, I have a problem. Oh, there's one. I didn't even see it. Come up. Oh, yeah. Now I got him skiing. You get those crappie up on the surface and get them skiing, you got them. Usually. Nice fish. Look at there. Old splatterback. Okay. There's going to be more of them coming out. Going to be more splatterbacks. Get this one back in. Cast that out as far as I can throw it. Give it a little bit more line, just for good measure. Put her in the holder. Let me get turned around here and I'm gonna get some more splatter back baits out. Nope. Yep. They always hit when you're in a turn and you need to be paying attention. That one's... spinning on me. We'll run into the dock over here. I got this one wrapped around the other one. <laughs> Guess what? Splatter back. Yep. Gonna be some changes made as soon as I get out of this mess. 
one of those mustad triple grip hooks and they get them they get them not huge but it'll go on the string okay get in my box here find me some more splatter packs which box of course the last one Okay, pull me out two more. Splatter backs. Got another splatter back. I'm gonna throw out here. Took that uh, 200 silver and chrome off and I'm taking the mistake off it didn't catch anything for me okay I'm gonna try another splatter back but it's a splatter back of a different color sort of a blue and chartreuse and orange on the bottom I'm dragging a fish out there not a big one. Okay, I'm getting busy now. Well, thought that was a little one, but it's not. It'll keep pretty decent fish. Pretty decent fish. Do I dare get two more rods out? I bet if I do, they'll go crazy on me. Let's go crazy. Okay. We've got eight of them out now. I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to catch a big catfish and he's going to run across all eight of them. That's what's going to happen. Oop, fish. Yeah, oh, that feels like a decent fish. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, and there's one there too. I knew it, I knew it as soon as I got him out. That's all right, it's a good problem to have. Oh, that's a dandy there, man. Man, oh man, yeah, that's on that rebel. I'm telling you, that's a that's a secret bait. You can't buy on the shelf. Get this one in. Weave them around. Yep, that's a keeper too. Not very big, but it's a keeper. That's on that uh, yellow splatter back. Two fresh baits, two fish. Boy, that's not very big. I'm not gonna keep it as keeper, but I'm gonna keep this one. Yes, sir. That's a nice fish. Boy, these must add triple grip hooks. You get these in them. They're hooked. Am I about to run into anything? Yeah, that's a dandy there. Boy, they're long and skinny. See the post spawn? Okay, like I say, this is that old, old rebel crankbait. That has caught so many fish. That's a great walleye bait too. And uh, they don't make them anymore. I've got several of them. I found some on eBay. I think I got a fish on one of these other rods here. I sure don't want to lose them.
Man, the little fish are out in droves. Let's get this one and see if it's better. Yeah, oh yeah. Man, if that's a crappie, that's a monster. Or it's foul hook. I think that's a catfish. I don't know. No, I think it's foul hook crappie. Come on up, let's see. Show yourself. Oh, yes, indeed. We'll take our time here. Nice crappie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that, that's a yellow splatter back too. That's a nice one. Yeah, hey, like that one. That's on that yellow splatter back. We might not be getting some more of those out. I just happen to have a few more. All right, that's a dandy. Get the old yellow splatter back back out here. Man, that reel is smooth. Gosh dang it. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Oh, come on, sweetheart. I got two of them. Am I gonna run into anything? Oh, we got three of them. Set the hook on that one, too. Not that you probably have to, but... I knew if I got eight rods out here, we'd get in trouble. Look at that little bitty thing. Man, where's the other one here? Another little old bitty one. Good Lord. They're not as big as the bait. There's another one. Okay, that's two. I'm gonna have a mess. A mess. I think that one's off. Maybe it was this one. That one's on the surface. Better turn the boat. Turn the boat! Another small fish, probably nine inches, but it's not going in my boat. Let's get rid of some fish before we try to get those back out. Boy, that bait's longer than the fish. These little ones are hard to get off. They get it in their mouth, you can't hardly get the hook out. See how they get it? Now look at that, I don't know if you can see that or not. That treble hook, two in the top and one in the bottom. You couldn't have got rid of that fish. Your life depended on it. Fish. Another one too. Right beside it. This one doesn't feel too bad, actually. The other one's small, I'm dragging it. This fish, it's got some pull to it. Oh, yes indeed, that's cause it's a good one. Look at here, that's cause it's a good one. That other one will just have to wait. Oh yeah, baby. Oh man, that's a nice fish there. That's a nice fish there. I'm gonna lay her down. Let's see what else I've got. Which one was it? This one's gone, I guess. I think we had one dragging one here. Oh, 
got one out here on this side. That's a good spot right there. I'll follow this trail again. Got one here. Come on. Oh, you little bitty thing. Let's see. We can catch a better one out here. Come on. That one off. Yeah, that one came off. This one didn't. Tighten that drag up a little bit. Got one on this one too. I bet there are a bunch of little ones. That fish is gone. Must be little ones. Yep, another little bitty one. Don't you do that. Yep. Oh, look at there, a little black crappie. Looks, now, you see the resemblance? Okay, let's get back to this good fish here. No, oh, it's dandy. Dandy, dandy. There we go. On the old splatter back, look at that one. Well, that thing is so skinny. Let's see how long that fish is. Oh yeah, that fish is 13 and three quarters. Nice one. Do I have any rods out? Two. Two out of eight. All right. Man, we might just do that again. Watch my trail on my graph and I can follow that same trail coming back through. What's the matter with you two? What are you waiting on? Nothing there. No, that, there's nothing wrong with this one except it's dragging a little fish. So that's seven out of eight rods. Seven out of eight rods out of the boat now. there too oh man that's that's got a little more pull to it it's got more pull to it that's a good fish that's a good fish where is it coming where is it coming oh man look at that rod good backbone in that soft tip beauty look at this fish that's the best one yet. That's the best one yet, I think. Dandy. He's got a big old sore on the bottom of his lip. You see that big sore? Isn't that weird? Oh, don't you go away. Let's see. That fish is 
13 and a half inches long and is bound and determined to get away from me. I got you. I got you. There you go. Man, I need to get me a towel out here. I'm going to be a mess. Man, I'm going to be so dirty, my wife's not going to let me come out and play anymore. Man, that rod position right there is hot. Yep, nice little crappie. Oh, man, you think they're not eating that splatter back? Look how far down that fish has got that in its mouth. Way down in the gills. Right, got it out. There's fish. No, oh, I got another one over here. Came through a little wad of them. Come on up. Oh yeah, that's another good one. That's another good one. Get off. Oh yeah. All right. That's on the old yellow splatter back. Whatever they call it. That's what I call it. How about that one? Dandy fish. See what how long it is. Twelve and a quarter. Nice keeper fish. Okay, folks, that does it. That's a limit. It's starting to rain. I got to get this Sony camera out of the weather. It's uh. 907. I don't know exactly what time I started, but that's a pretty good little mess of fish right there for the time we've been out here pulling crankbaits. I've loved it. I'm telling you, I've had a good time not fishing for tournament fish. I, it's just a blast pulling these crankbaits. I'm going to do more of it. I'm going to shoot some more videos. Hope this one turns out. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Also, please hit the like button and share the video. That really helps out my channel if you hit the like button, subscribe, and share the video so more people get to see it. Thanks for being with me. I'm going to get out of the rain, go to the house. Mm -hmm.